everyone, so I've got a quick announcement to start off with. I am really excited to finally be able to tell you guys this because it's been top secret for a little bit and I have just been itching and itching and itching to tell you. I am going to be involved on a European Contiki with a bunch of other amazing YouTubers. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but basically I'm really, really excited and really freaking terrified. I'm probably going to fangirl. Um, I'm probably going to make a fool of myself, but I'm really excited to meet a whole bunch of other YouTubers. I'm really excited to go over to Europe and I will be doing a meetup in London, I believe, but more information will be coming. Make sure you subscribe to Contiki. I'll put the link down below and you can definitely learn more. Go check out who else is coming on the Contiki because there are some YouTube superstars coming on this trip. I'm not kidding you. I'm really excited, but as I said, really, really freaking scared. And I'm also going to try and win you guys some Contiki trips, so... Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get into the proper video now. Hey everyone, so I was watching Velvet Ghost's channel, aka Gabriella, and I'll link her video down below. Basically, she did the, I'm reading it off the screen because otherwise I'll forget. It's called the Lip Product Addict Tag, um, and I'm going to do swatches and everything. Basically, it's just a tag where you show some of your favourite and least favourite lip products. And you all know, well if you watch my channel, you know that I am obsessed with lip products like no other. I have so many different lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners and all that kind of thing so I thought this would be very appropriate. And I have totally cheated on some of the questions so I'm sorry uh, but yeah. If you'd like to see some more lip product videos like top favorite lip products or even like summer lip combinations, winter lip combinations, all those kind of things, leave your requests down below and I'll definitely check those out and see if I can do that for you. So the first question is what is your favorite lip balm or treatment? Hands down, Haraw. Haraw is a natural lip balm made out of all natural products, organic, vegan, and raw ingredients. So basically, it's really good. You're not putting any nasty chemicals on your lips. I find these the most moisturizing out of any lip balm I've ever tried in my whole life. My favorite one is the mint one. It gives you that really nice minty tingling sensation on your lips. But I also love the coconut, which is this one. And the other one I have here with me right now is the night treatment one, which is super moisturizing. So you can put it on before bed and it just soaks into your lips overnight. Next is YSL number 13, which is the name Lit Orange, I think. I got this for its duty time and I swap because it's my favorite lipstick in the whole world. It's kind of grubby looking because I use it so often. But yeah, this is my favorite eye-catching red, which is question number two. It is basically an orange-based red and it's just so vibrant and eye-catching and amazing. And every single time I wear this, I get so many compliments every time. I've never worn this and not received a compliment, which... You know, you know it's a good lipstick then. I think this is the colour that Kourtney Kardashian wears as well, so I love this. The best luxury and the best drugstore product. Drugstore is easy. If you guys watch me, you know, NYX Black Label Lipstick in India. It's the perfect peachy, pinky, nude kind of colour on my skin tone. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much and it's cheap and it's amazing and enough said. For luxury, I couldn't really think of something because I would probably choose my YSL Rouge Pure Couture. Um, so instead, I've chosen the Dior, what is this even called? Fluid Stick. And it looks like this. I love the packaging. It looks like it should be a lipstick, but basically it is like a lip gloss kind of product. And this is the shade 754 Pandore. Yeah, it's just like a lip gloss, and I love this color. It's like a nice, vibrant kind of pinkish red, and it's really, really glossy, and it just looks really, really beautiful. So that is my current favorite luxury product, I would say. It was quite a hard one to choose, so... Yeah, I really have been liking this. This was one of the ones where I cheated. The next question is best MAC lipstick. If I really had to choose one, it would probably be this. It is Flesh Pot and it's a satin. It's just my perfect nude. Um, it's just a really easy color to wear. If I'm going clubbing, chuck this on. It goes with everything. It wears off nicely. You know, it's just so easy for me to wear. It's just really good against my skin tone. But I have to show you two more as well that are like my ultimate favorites. The first one is Sweet and Sour by MAC and it's like the perfect light peach. It's just so pretty. If you love oranges and peaches and pastels, you'll love this. And then the last one, which is one of my all-time favorites, is Morange. If you've been watching me for ages, you know that as well. It's one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's just a really bright orange color, and it's surprisingly easy to wear. It's not too hard to pull off, especially if you've got yellow undertones. It just looks so gorgeous. Next was most disappointing lip product, and I'm really sad about this. Ugh. This is the Giorgio Armani Rouge Ecstasy Lipstick in 303. The packaging is really cute, it's like magnetic closure, it looks really nice and quite, 
you know, sexy, I guess. How can you call a lipstick sexy? You guys know what I mean. It's just the red. I don't know. The colour is amazing. I've only worn this once, but the reason I'm putting this in most disappointing, and hopefully I change my mind with more wear, because I'm going to keep trying it out and hopefully stuff changes. But the reason I'm saying it's really disappointing so far, the first time I used it, I applied it, and it just tasted so rank. I don't know if you guys have ever, like, worn a lipstick and it just tastes like chemicals and poison and... Blech. It just really was not pleasant and it wouldn't go away. I wore it for like three hours and it just was there and it just tasted foul. So hopefully when I keep wearing this for some reason stuff changes or maybe I got a dud. I don't know. So I've got another one which I'm still going to try but I'm really scared to try it now because I don't want to have that nasty taste in my mouth until the next time I brush my teeth. Next is lip liner. Yes or no? Hell yeah. I love lip liner. It really helps to define your lip line. I've got quite a kind of... I don't know, like, my lip line is just not very defined, so I love lip liner just to define. Like, today I'm wearing a nude, which is this Chi Chi Totally Nude Lip Liner, and it looks like this. Sometimes I'll overdraw my lips if I'm going for, like, a really glamorous look, and it's so easy to do if you just get the right kind of pigmented lip liner, you can't even tell. This is Status by Chi Chi, and it's just a really bright orange-based red. It goes perfectly with that YSL lip color. And another couple of my favorites, this one here is Lasting Sensation, and it's the perfect kind of peach. And then the last one I have here is magenta, and it's just amazing. It's like a purple magenta color, obviously. And that's what those colors look like swatched. Really, really love lip liners, and they help your lipstick last longer, so I just love them. Next is favorite gloss, and this is my current favorite lip gloss, which I'm wearing today, and it's called Coral Craze by Whitening Lightning, and I do have a discount code down below for you if you're interested. I love these lip glosses. They have the most amazing colors ever. I also love the nudes, the pinks, there's a couple of reds which I love. I just love so many of them. And I'm thinking about doing like a lip swatch video of all of these because they're really pigmented. You can wear them on top of lipstick or alone. This color here is just phenomenal. Like if I swatch on my hand, that was one swipe. You can see how pigmented that is. Highly recommend these. This is my favorite at the moment. And then for number eight, it says something else. And I assume that means one thing, but I'm going to show you five different lipsticks that I've been loving recently. First of all is Melt Cosmetics Stupid Love. This is the most amazing bright pink lipstick, and it is a matte formula. I just love the color. I've done a tutorial using this, and I'll link it down below for you. Next is my favorite purple lipstick in the whole world. This is the NYX Macaron Lipstick in Violet. And I've talked about this a few times already. I am in love with this shade. If you want to try purple, I think this is one of the best. Next is Makeup Store Pretty Baby. And this is a matte shade as well. And it's just an amazing baby pink. I love it. So pretty. And then the last two are both Illamasqua products. These are called the Matte Lip Liquids. And I'm obsessed with these. I love the colors. This one here is in the shade Surrender. And it's like a nudish kind of pinky peachy color. It's so beautiful. And then this one here is in the shade Exotic. So beautiful. I love it. It's quite a yellow based kind of orange. So that is my lip product edit tag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to tag some people down below so make sure you check out and see if you're tagged. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Very excited about this. A collaboration with the amazing Wayne Goss makeup artist. So if you want to see his side of the video make sure you check the link down below after